Good morning guys, what is happening? What is going on? What is good? Uh, before I head out, because I'm headed out in about 15 to 20 minutes, uh, all the photos that I take from today are going to be uh, placed throughout the video, but they're also going to be placed at the end of the video at this timestamp here. For those of you who can't be bothered like watching the full video and just want to get to the photos, they will be at the end of the video. Uh, I also want to say presets are linked in the description below. Go check them out. Go buy them, guys. Show some support. It would be greatly appreciated for all literally three of you who watch my videos. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It actually helps when you comment. Uh, and also hit that thumbs up button. So that would be greatly appreciated. Follow me on Instagram. And with that being said, let's go and start this beautiful day. It's meant to be dry today, so I'm kind of pretty happy. Let's rock and roll. Yo guys, what is happening? What is, go oh my God, it is so bright. Good morning guys, what is happening? What is going on? What is good? Welcome back to another video. Guys, yes, we are back with another product photography video, but we are on location as you can see today. We are on a rooftop car park. This is a place I used to come to a lot, man. And uh, I don't know, it's just something about like city vibes. Glasgow, which is where I live, it has like a very Gotham type vibe to it, man. It's very like gray, it's very like industrial, but it, there's something about it, dude. So I thought this would probably be the best place to come and take photos of my new Nike Air Max 90s. I ordered these like a week ago. They arrived a couple days ago and luckily we have had a, I mean, I say luckily, I took me a year, like a year, an hour to walk here and I was absolutely soaked, man, because it was raining, but now it's dry. Thank God, as soon as we got up here, it, the, 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 the rain just went away and I see a bit of blue clouds, blue sky as well, which is always a good thing, but yeah. So let's let's show you what we're doing right now. Lee, what's up, bro? We got Lee over here. So we got these beautiful, look at these, white as hell, man. They're actually glowing. <laughs> so we got these nice uh, white and black colorway Nike Air Max 90s. And I thought because, you know, they're Air Maxes, man, we need to do some like city vibes. We can't do like home stuff, you know? Just to capture the grittiness, these are street shoes, I mean, as you can tell. So what better place to take these photos than on the streets? So we're gonna start with these, with this location here first, because we've got that beautiful background right there. All right, so what I'm gonna do with this angle is get the back and then get the side as well. I think there might have been like a robbery or something going on, I don't know, man. <laughs> We're not stopping, but yeah. So what I want to capture with this angle is the back, the logo, and then the side. So you got the side angle there, uh, and I want everything in the background to be super blurred out. So I'm going to be taking these photos on like an f 2.8 or even an f 2.0, and just get that all blurry in the back and focus on these. So we have a cool little puddle here. So I'm gonna ask you to do is kind of like point the shoe down and don't touch the puddle, but just do it as if it's about to touch it, all right? So you can get a nice cool like little reflection photo and we'll see how cool this looks. All right, dude, this worked a treat, this photo. Although I sat in a puddle, didn't even realize it. Right there, you can't really see it because it's it's like not discolored like this. So my full backside is completely wet, but got one photo on the edge there, perfect. Got one in a puddle, beautiful. Uh, let's see what else we can do. You know what, let's take some like detailed shots. These ones, I'm gonna keep them nice and clean. All these ones, I wanna keep these photos clean. I don't wanna do too much to them. Uh, in fact, Lee, yeah, put them on the floor because this is like a nice little area here. So we're gonna keep the shoes on like a light kind of colored floor here. And we'll just take some like nice detail stuff of the laces, of the, of the swoosh, of uh, just as whatever we can really get. These beautiful red steps here. We'll try and get some photos of these. Look at that popping out already. It's a bit harder than I thought, to be honest. I'm used to taking portraits, uh, not shoes. So I don't know what looks cool or not, but I'm super psyched with the, the reflection photo. That I feel pretty cool about that one. I'm really psyched about the one right on the edge there with all the buildings in the background. I'm actually psyched with one of the photos that I got 
where it was just on the floor. It was like on the ground. Uh, the only issue was that there was a bloody Range Rover in the background, but I don't know, man. It's all good, you know? Uh, and then there's one photo that I want to do. So I don't know if you guys have seen in like every single movie set in California where you have like the shoes hanging on the wire. You know, the laces are tied up. I'm not gonna hang them on a wire, but I wanna tie the laces up and hang them on something. I don't know why, it just, I have this, like, this vision, so I'm gonna try and get that. I'll do that last though. These I feel like will probably take the most time because that one's like a straightforward click, you're done. I, I kind of feel like my photos are a little whack. <laughs> I think I got all the photos that I wanted to get. Honestly, I don't know, because I haven't done this before. I can't get creative, I don't know what it is, man. Uh, oh wait, there's actually one more photo that I wanna get. Uh, and I think we'll easily be able to get this one and then we'll move on to the next and kind of find location. You know, honestly, I cannot wait to finish these so I can start wearing them. <laughs> Oh, that looks so nice. Yeah. Holy moly. Cool. So we're going to bounce from this uh, this spot. Let's hit up some um, some like streets. We'll hit up some streets. Okay, so that's where the car park was. We walked down here. And we found where we're gonna do the last photo. Well, I say the, the last for this vlog. Right here, dude. We have the traffic lights, super city vibes. And we're gonna hang it off of this right here. So let's begin, baby. Yeah, boy. All right, cool. Tell them. We'll, we'll yeah, we'll customize them a little bit. See, for some reason, the, the main thing is like flipping that way. I don't know if we got it or not. I'll check when I get home. I'm sort of happy with it and I'm also not. There was like a vibe that I was going with. Doesn't seem to be working. I'm gonna take a picture which I try and avoid quite a lot because it's done a lot on Instagram, but these shoes are just too gorgeous. So we're gonna do a floating photo. So what Lee's gonna do is I'm gonna shut my, set my shutter pretty high and Lee is going to just go whoop, and hopefully try and get the shoe just <laughs> pretty much in midair. So <laughs> let's give it a shot and hope we don't ruin uh, the, the shoes by doing this photo. All right, guys, and we are back. Uh, it's actually the next day, it's six o'clock in the morning. My neighbors are gonna be super pissed off that I'm recording this video super early in the morning, but if I'm completely honest with you, these guys argue like three in the morning, so I really don't care. But we are not here to talk about neighbor drama. We're here to talk about the, the, the whole video, man. Like, you know, just my results and everything. So let's get started. I was pretty pleased with the wide photos of the shoes. I don't think I could have done any better. Um, I liked what I got. Shoes are in focus, background is super blurry. It is in a setting that I wanted, like a grimy city setting. I think that's where Nike Air Maxes belong anyways. I don't think they belong in like a, you know, colored backdrops or like, I don't know, a nice studio setting. They deserve to be out there, man, in the dirt, in the roughness. So yeah, I think I managed to capture that vibe really well with the wide shots. I am so happy with the reflection photos. That was something I wasn't going to get because um, I don't know with, with, you know, with reflection photos, you need puddles. You don't know when there's going to be puddles or not. So when we got up there, I saw the puddles and I was like, yo, we are getting a reflection photo and it turned out gorgeous, man. And the black and white was so nice too. So very pleased with that. What I'm not pleased with though is the close-ups. I feel like this is, uh, this was an issue half on my part and also on my kit's um, part as well. My part because I should have done more research. I should have gotten more inspiration to see how people have taken close-up pictures of shoes. 
Um, I don't know, I just found mine to be quite basic looking and just, I don't know, nothing too interesting. If a client saw those photos, they'd be like, ah, looks kind of weird. I also feel like a 50 millimeter would have done the job really well with the close-ups or even like an 85 millimeter. I don't know, I think a 50 mil would have been pretty good because I found with my 35 mil, it made the shoes quite narrow because it's, you know, a lot wider than a 30, uh, than a 50 mil. So it just removed the bulkiness and the, the body of the shoes, which I feel like is, you know, the unique selling point of the shoes is just the, 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 the thickness of it. So I wasn't too pleased with the close-ups, but in saying that, I'm not super disappointed either. The, sh the, the, the shot that... The shot that I wanted of the shoes hanging off of like something, kind of like in the movies, didn't turn out how I wanted it to. I think I had super high expectations. I saw, you know, I had this image in my head from movies, translating that into like a, you know, like a photo shoot. Impossible, dude. It's just, you know, I was setting myself up for failure. Um, but the photo that I did get, I was kind of semi-pleased with it. There were a few things that I wanted, which I think my surroundings didn't allow me to get. For example, high-rise buildings. We don't really have like skyscrapers here, so I wouldn't have been able to get that. But I also wanted the colors of the traffic lights to be in the photo. Issue with that was the 35 millimeter. It, it cropped it too much to allow the light to come. And if I went back quite a lot, then you, it would kind of defeat the purpose of taking the photo because it's all about the shoe, you know? And then everything else in the, in the background is just there to complement the picture. One photo that <laughs> worked out so well was like when Lee um, kind of threw the shoe. So with this, I tried to not get his hand in it. So we tried, you know, multiple times for him to throw it and then get his hand out, but his hand kept getting in there. And um, I didn't want the photo to be super close up because then I think the focusing would have been off. So what I ended up doing was super cropping the photo and I had to bring the sharpness up quite a bit. Um, and I, it turned out nice, man. It turned out real good. If I was really good with Photoshop, I would have just like, you know, Photoshopped his hand out of there, but I I can't, I don't know how to do that. So with that being said, really happy with those photos. What would I have done differently? I think I would have done a lot more research. I would have gone online, seen how people, you know, take photos of shoes more than one person and, uh, and then like adopted their ideas to like, you know, my shoot and just taken inspiration from everyone and done it there. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm on the whole very happy with my uh, with my images and it was a very good day as well. So before we end this video and I show you the montage of all the photos, make sure you guys hit like, comment and subscribe and uh, check out my presets too. They're all linked down below. I use my presets for these photos, which I forgot to say, normally I wouldn't use presets for product photos, but I feel like because these were taken in the city, it needed presets. It needed presets. So I applied my presets. I applied like a very subtle preset, so it didn't change too much. It just kind of, you know, brought the photos up a little bit. Um, so yeah, check them out down below. Follow me on Instagram as well if you dig this video or my content in general. And uh, yeah, with that being said, enjoy the montage and thank you for watching. Peace.